you, thank you. Stuff. Man, so oh. you guys went to game 10, and you were able to clutch that out. How did that feel just overall about the set? How do you feel about that, man? To be honest, it was just as draining as all the practice we have together. We, yeah. we probably played, like, I want to say 20-plus hours since, like, three days ago together. Yeah. So a lot of grinding, a lot of, like, getting down what works with what in the Meta Knight Sheik matchup. Right, so right. I would say if there's any Sheik I have the most experience against, it is literally Void. Yeah. Like, and honestly, he's my favorite person to fight as well because yeah. – feel like he plays at such an interesting level of the game yeah. that I get to manipulate what options I want to do as well. I'm like, right. oh, shit, you know, he's using these tilts. Like, I should just be partial tilting as well and, like, yeah. getting more optimal punishes right. rather than risking right. dash tag so often. Right. And then right. use dash tag as a mix-up in the neutral. Right. So right. it's, I don't know, he's evolved my Meta Knight. Yeah, and absolutely, absolutely. It's, it feels good. Yeah. And usually Void, me and Void, we get we go to game five all the time in tournament. Right, right. But he'll two stock me. Yeah. So this time game five, I two stocked him. Yeah. yeah. I was just so like retribution, yeah. All right, man. I felt Wh it. How did you feel just kinda overall? I mean, obviously we saw like you did end up getting the five forty five sometimes. So you mm -hmm. were able to get that string. Um what do you, how do you feel now about the new kind of Meta Knight combos that are kind of surfacing? Uh, the new tricks that Meta Knights have to do in order to kind of keep this character alive? Um, it, I, it definitely makes the character just harder to play, yeah. like when you're trying to get like an up air kill. Yeah. But also there's ways that it helps you because right. there's no more DI'ing right above yeah. where the up B is hard to hit. Right. If you know how to read their DI and like you're, you're good at reacting to it, they'll DI right in your up B angle sometimes when you're up airing them. Right. So the patch, it nerfs us, but at the same time it gives us buffs at that neutral high percent of like, 80 to like 90 percent. Right. If they get hit with an up air, yeah. they're not gonna be able to di straight above you. They're gonna yeah. just die. You're gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So yeah. It, it works because, like, <laughs> I want to say only that, but then it works against us a lot too because right. when we want to get low percent combos or when we're in rage and they're at low percent, we're trying to get a kill. Right. Nah, we'll just we might just die really easily. So right. I try to forward smash pressure more and right. just right. get people to respect that more because yeah. that's all I really have sometimes. Yeah. No, man. <laughs> but, hey, that forward smash pressure was working. Yes. I mean, you had hit him with so many of those. Like, you're reading those rolls. You just had him at the edge where he, a lot of times I saw initially he would go with a lot of cross-ups. Mm -hmm. Then you were doing your, your shielding. And then you started realizing, okay, I'm going to step back, throw this cannon out, and you have to respect that. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing was as well is that he wasn't grabbing me. Yeah. So, like, I was, I was never getting grabbed, and I just kind of took advantage of him. Right, right. Like, it felt really good. Yeah. And to be honest, I'm super tired. No, it must I be. Like <laughs> that looked draining. That looked like, draining, but. I wasn't even was playing on coming here. Kane, I was like, yo, you should come today. Yeah. Like, just come through. And I'm yeah. like, fine. Right. And just left and came here. And, yeah. You know, hey, it man. was fun. Came out on top, man. It was great stuff. Shouts out to MSM. Yeah. Shouts out to the champ. Shouts out to everyone to yeah. keeping the community alive, man. Yeah, man. I, I like it. This is great stuff, man. It's great stuff. All right. So we got some questions from the chat. Chat. Oh, you asking them right? Okay. So yeah, they're gonna, we're gonna get some questions from them. I wanted to ask you real quick. I saw you do it a few times, um, but I think it's something that you're probably still like experimenting with. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the new strings with fair to dash attack? Being able to actually use fair, short up fairs in neutral in in the uh, conversion, mm -hmm. rather than having to do raw dash attack well, or getting a grab. Here's something that people didn't know. It actually always worked. Yeah. Now it just works a little bit more consistently with a few frames of lag. Right. Or a few frames of lag that aren't there anymore. Right. So it's a good mix up at the ledge rather than like trying to roll past them or forward get up because right. now Sheik's down smash got buffed. I died from down smash like right. yeah. so many Three times. times. Right. Just right. But then she can also full hop needle when you're getting up from the ledge too. Right. So it's like, okay, that option's dead. Well, you know what? Sometimes I can just fare through. So if she needles, it'll end up behind me. And right. if she decides to shield there, I can weave in fair and weave back at the right. last moment. If the last hit hits her, I get a free dash stack. Right. If right. she doesn't DI away. Right, right. Okay. But if if she DIs away, then it doesn't combo. Okay, okay. So something only there in early percents that you mm. really see. Otherwise, you can use the DI. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, where do you think Meta Knight is now on the tier I list? cannot answer that question yet because I haven't played enough matchups yet. Hey. That's a great answer because I know a lot of people would love to like instantly give stuff, but yeah, it's all. Yeah, you need I, a little more time to see it I out. I need to grind through way more matchups. Right, but right. what it does make at least me as a Meta Knight player do right. is play more reserved because I don't right. have my bullshit anymore. Like right. my Jake is gone. So yeah. now I'm just going to wait. 
I'm yeah. going to actually wait. Yeah. And if you have anything to say about it, I'm yeah. waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The matchup for Sheik is you get to be less afraid of grab. You know, like there's less fear behind it because if she gets a grab sometimes, if you can react to DIing her throws, like they all work if you mess up and DI in. Then all her grab combos still work. Like at high percent you can get back throw up air if you DI in, you know? Right. So as long as I'm on point with reacting to how she grabs me, I'm not worried about getting grabbed. Okay. So I'm going to play a more fearless game and not a, not afraid to partial down tilt, right. not afraid to just roll behind her and accept the consequences of maybe getting grabbed or, right. you know, F tilted. But I, I'm playing a more fearless game, which matters a lot because she kills people from fear, just right. holding shield, waiting in shield, being right. afraid of getting fared and then blocking a fair and doing nothing about it. Right, because there's so much pressure, like, on neutral. So. Yeah. Right. So okay. Okay. That I, makes sense. I feel way more confident knowing that I'm not just gonna die from a grab. Right. At like 120 or something. Right. But now I'm gonna die from down tilt. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is, it's just as good oh, as grab. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you have tilt stick. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah. He's but walk forward. It's punishable. Grab. Yes. Grab is harder to punish because you have to dodge it sometimes and you have to move out of the way. Right. And then it makes it not punishable. Right. 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 Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. That's that's that. <laughs> <laughs> At least was, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> and this man speaking truth. What do you want me to say? <laughs> you want us to be like, nah, nah, nigga. You don't, uh, what, what do you want me to say? <laughs> don't let them hate, man. Don't yeah, let man. Make. Hey, let them. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, chat. Respect you can hate on me, chat. I don't care, man. I love you guys. Last question. Who do I want to come? Uh, I have multiple people I want to come, though. Does it matter how many I choose? I want either Zenodo. Okay, I want either Ninja Link or Pink Fresh or Zenoda to come. That's my order. Yeah. Ninja Link because I have i don't know. I always see him randomly come to a tournament and do really good. So I want to see how, if he'll do that over here. Mm. And Pink Fresh, of course, because revenge, obviously. And then Zenodo because I want to destroy him. Uh, I would be down. Okay. But not, not, a, not super down, but I would be down for the hype. Okay. All right, so... If Pink Fresh, if you guys are voting for Pink Fresh, bring that dude over here. We will have a grudge match, Pink Fresh versus Sadly Tyrant. enough, I won't be able to make it to Faux Saga, by the way. Oh. I know. It's the first 2GG I've missed, oh. though. It's the first one. Oh, man. But I have to host the tournament, so I, man. I can't really think about it. What? All right. I work for McCain, too. Hey, man. I know. You got you to gotta do what you got to do. But the one after that, I'm 100% coming. Okay. Somewhere. I actually do want to see Ninja Link go because that guy knows a lot about the game as well. Mm -hmm. Very experienced. And I think that it would be interesting to grind some <laughs> stuff with him. Even though he may not – like, I mean, obviously he's a really amazing player. I don't know if I put him low is obviously with our, some of our best, but he's still a really crazy player. But just the intelligence about the game yes. that he has, I think that would also be great to see and see what – maybe he has some new tools that – we haven't thought of over mm. in SoCal, so that would be pretty like interesting. Like, the way he labs the game is a little bit different than other people. Right, so right, right. He always right. comes out with a more consistent, like, yeah, play style yeah. when he just comes to a tournament out of nowhere. Yep. Exactly, like, exactly. And Brawl as well, just it it gives you the EXP boost in this game. Yep. Just having a Brawl pass. <laughs> yeah, man, absolutely. So, Shouts absolutely. out to Brawl, man. Yeah, man. All right, so I think that's we're about to wrap it up. But thank you so much, as always. Congratulations, sir. Great, phenomenal play. And, and guys, shout outs to the venue, shout outs to everyone. You yes. guys are all dope. Shout outs to the stream. Shout outs to the stream, man. And I still in there. Yes. All right. All right. And we're going to get.